Dr. Hermes, I'm going to let you introduce the next on the agenda. Excellent. Thank you, Ms. Zinzer. Um, it is my absolute honor and privilege to introduce this month's spotlight, which is Little Scouts. Little Scouts, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a Lake Forest High School infant and preschool program. It's housed here at uh, West Campus. And while they're here to give you a little bit of history and tell you about some of the highlights of the program, I wanted to first take the opportunity to highlight some of the accomplishments of the staff and our director. Um, they've always had a great program, but some of the things they've done the last few years have been absolutely exceptional. So I will start a little bit, and, and I'm not going to get all choky up because I know that's not me, but um, I will brag on them a little bit. Uh, we closed Little Scouts uh, with COVID and the pandemic in March of 2020, like all of our schools. I will say the first school to open was Little Scouts. We opened Little Scouts in July of 2020, and it operated without fail and without closure and has continued to date. That is a miraculous thing when you think about the littles, as we like to call them, right? We're talking infants, two-year-olds, three-year-olds. That's a tough environment to, to, to control and mitigate situations. So the fact that we, we did that, we did it quickly, and we did it so phenomenally well is just a testament to this fantastic staff. Um, they also, during that time, like they, they weren't busy enough, um, they also secured funding for various agencies, and they sought out grants and opportunities they were able to achieve $241,000 in grants and opportunities since 2020. Additionally, at the same time, um, the entire team, led by our director, Heather Monzingo, went on to earn a rating of Bronze Circle of Quality, and that is a, an award that recognizes qualifications and professional development and certain required trainings, which is a very robust series. Um, they are the only preschool program in, Little, in Lake Forest to have, the, have received this honor. Yeah. And not to steal their thunder, but I think they're going for the next level because there is a silver circle as, as well. So I will leave that to them. Um, and finally, I'll just close that with uh, the fact that we have grown the program. It has ebbed and flowed over the years, and I think we'll see some history tonight. But we've grown over 54% um, since the pre-pandemic numbers. So an absolute, I think, um, amazing program that we're able to provide. And while I'm a little disappointed that we weren't able to have any of our littles here today, as a, as a mom of three boys, um, I understand the importance of bedtime um, and routine. So while we don't have the littles here today, they will share them with us um, on our screen. But I also want to recognize, and you can see them, we have much of our very dedicated staff here tonight in addition to our director. Okay, well, thank you. Um, we are so excited to be here. We are so excited to share with you guys a little bit about what we do downstairs. Um, so we're just going to start with a little brief history. I don't know um, how much people know about us, so I thought I, we'd just go right back to the beginning. Um, we were founded in 1996 in response to a staff needs survey given to Lake Forest High School teachers. They wanted high-level quality uh, childcare for their own children, and we were born. <laughs> so in the 25 plus years we have provided care, we have adjusted our programming needs to what the community needed. At certain times, there wasn't a full day preschool uh, or full day kindergarten option in the Lake Forest schools, so we had kindergarten enrichment programs. Um, for a little while, there weren't after school programs that were embedded within the school district 67, so we offered that. So what we've offered has kind of ebbed and flowed. We started with three children, and it was only a three to five year old program, and we have now, we, throughout the years, we've added our infant toddler programs. Um, we've gone through some closures we, during the time that West Campus was closed. We found a new house in um, Lake Bluff, Grace Church. When West Campus reopened, we were there for about six years. When West Campus reopened in 2008, we happily returned home. 2020 brought many changes, obviously, but with adversity comes opportunity and Little Scouts has come back even stronger. 
that rolls me right into some number slides. Although we started as a way to support our teachers, as you can see, we now play an important part in supporting the families in our community. Since COVID, we have seen an increase in dual income families who are choosing group care versus having a nanny at home. That has led to many more families vying for our full day spots and not needing a more traditional two and a half hour preschool. We currently have 69% of our students are community members. Our district teachers, both um, District 67, 115, and Lake Bluff make up a, just over 20%. And out of district teachers, which I thought was an important number to include here, we have a, a number of teachers from surrounding areas who have chosen to come to us because we are affiliated with the school district and the quality of care that we provide. Here's our snapshot, and this was interesting to me. This has definitely shifted since COVID. We have 63% of our staff, or sorry, our students are Lake Forest and we have about 14% that reside in Lake Bluff. This is an opportunity for us as we develop our curriculum for our preschool classes to think about the schools that they're going into. These are our future 67 and 115 learners. And so how can we give them the best possible foundation to have them in our district? I'm probably showing my age a little bit. I love Mr. Rogers. <laughs> um, and this quote really drives a lot of our foundation and our fundamentals. We are definitely a play-based program. And this next slide kind of shows you a little bit. This is what we're teaching. Play is such an essential way of teaching it because children learn through their five senses and through, develop, through exploring their worlds, especially our tiniest learners, our babies, our toddlers. We are spending, a lot of times, we are spending a lot more time with them during the day awake than they are with their families. So we want to really be able to give them the opportunities to explore all sorts of different things. Um, this teaching happens in many different forms, singing, reading, playing. We are not just teaching our ABCs and our one, two, threes and our colors and our shapes, but we're helping our children become lifelong learners. There is no better place to learn respect, cooperation, and confidence than in a preschool classroom where everything is shared and civility and manners are both taught and learned organically. I'm gonna shift gears here because I want to share with you some of the wonderful collaborative efforts that we have been able to offer because of the wonderful staff at Lake Forest High School and the students and the teachers who are willing to work with us. Our first thing, we didn't have a logo. <laughs> I approached Mrs. Bielski in her graphic design class. Uh, full disclosure, Mrs. Bielski, we had her children at Little Scouts years ago. And um, I wanted to know if they could help with that. She turned it into a learning experience for her students. They treated it as a client. I went in, I told them what I was looking for, what we were about, and they submitted their designs as well as walking me through their thought processes. Um, we involved all of our teachers and our families here. We held a vote. We made a little tweak. Uh, we asked for a little tweak to be made because we wanted to keep our blue and yellow. We wanted to really align with Lake Forest High School, but that's where we started with our logo. So this is our very first official logo that we had. This next one is really close to my heart. Um, we partner with Mrs. Dryling's English three classes and they write personalized storybooks for our three through five programs. 
We help our little scouts fill out likes and dislikes, and the Lake Forest students tailor the books for each child. So each child is walking home with a handwritten, illustrated book. Um, this year we've added an additional component and students from Mrs. Thomas's art class will be making stuffed animals that will go along with the books, that will be included in the book, a little character, um, and that also is all based on designs that our little scouts will do. So that's um, them reading their books to their little scouts. It's a, everybody loves this. I think the big kids might like playing with the toys the best. <laughs> Our freshman and sophomore student councils, they come and they host theme parties for us. Usually around, we had one around Valentine's Day, one around Halloween. Um, the parties always include a simple art activity, face painting, themed games. They are a great opportunity for interaction between our big scouts, as we like to call them, and our little scouts. Uh, and in addition, it provides some social opportunities for our families to come and get together and see their kids play and enjoy some of that as well. So that's some pictures of some of the little cuties. These next two slides will show you a snapshot of our growth over the past three years. As Jen mentioned, we have seen a 54% growth in our enrollment since uh, before COVID, but we just have FY21 on here. We have already held our registration for the 23-24 school year, and our numbers are holding strong. We've increased by one child. Um, fiscal year 21 was, oops, sorry, we're going to. So these are our financials. Fiscal year 21, so that was 2020, 2021. We obviously ended with a deficit, um, but last year we had a surplus, and this year we are on budget to do the same. We're on track. All right, so this is the fun stuff. I've got a couple of videos. Oh, maybe, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my name is Lola. I, I am eight years old. I am in second grade. And what was your favorite thing about Little Scouts? I loved the toys there and the field trips when we went to the nature museum. And I loved all my teachers and friends. So we have... So that was one of our graduates. She still comes by and gives the best hugs. Um, oops, sorry. We're gonna Hi. try to, nope, there we go. So now we've got some current little cuties. I caught them on their way out to go outside. Hold on just a second. How old are you, Valentina? <laughs> I'm glad you're here to fix it for me. going to load. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know, we, can, we, we work with what we have down there. <laughs> Play outside. My name is Valentina. I like to do car. Hold on just a second. How old are you, Valentina? <laughs> Three. 
<laughs> Year three, what's your name? Cammy. And you like to do harvest? Yeah, when you guys learned all about the harvest. What did you learn about? Uh, chickens. chickens. Chickens have come up before. All right, what about you, Kendall? Chicken. What's your favorite thing to do? Um, I like to paint at home. You like to paint at home? Do you like to paint here? Do you guys do fun arts and crafts? <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, guys. I wanted to show you guys what you probably would have gotten had we brought the littles up here. <laughs> All right, so I would like to bring up Carly Quick, who is um, the founder of our unofficial parent committee. Um, and we are lucky enough, we have had, we have one of her children right now, and her son graduated last year. Come on up, Carly. So glad to be here and share with you guys just a, a place and a program that's very special to my heart. And when I walked in and I saw all these faces, I almost started crying. I wasn't expecting to see them. And so there's a lot of feelings behind Little Scouts and our experience there. And I just wanted to give you kind of my top three, which I like to share with my students. By the way, I'm a social worker at Lake Bluff Middle School. So I have a professional lens on all this, but a very personal lens that um, I'm very thankful for and excited to share with you guys. So number one, our kids are safe and loved which as we know right now, especially this day and age, is very important and not always certain. So every day when I leave and I go to work with other people's kids, I am just extremely blessed and thankful to have these faces caring for my kids while I'm off to do the things that I'm doing. And number two, is they are beyond prepared for their life in education. As you guys all know, education is very important, and this is an important time in our lives, all the way up through you know, the Big Scouts. So this, these foundational years of learning how to eat food and share time and attention, but also play on the playground and learn to love learning and sight words and all of those things from the littles all the way up to the pre-Ks is, it's just amazing to see all the work that you guys do to make that happen as noted at the kindergarten. My oldest is in kindergarten now and we just had his conference and they're talking about how great he's doing and it's, it's, it's these people right here. <laughs> like I just have so much thanks for them um, for that. And the third is, is as Heather mentioned, the, the parent support that we can rally for these teachers. They are so important and they are so impactful in our lives. And we realized a couple years ago that we weren't doing enough to acknowledge them and support them for all the work that they're doing. So we rally money, we rally time, we rally energy, and it's not ever gonna be enough to thank them for everything that they do, but we have fun trying. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to, you know, officially let you guys know and say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do for our children. You're in our families now, and it, it is just a blessing, and it's a really big, amazing asset to this community. As Heather was mentioning, these are a lot of future scouts, and in this community, although I'm the tiny orange Libertyville po portion of the pie chart, um, this community is very fortunate to have this program, and thank you. Um, for having and having us in your lives. So, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> and so, we're, I'm just gonna end on one last little video. This is my little friend Camden. He says it all. Camden, can you tell me what your favorite thing to do at Little Scouts is? Everything. That's a lot of things. What's your favorite thing that you're that you've learned about this year? Everything. Everything. I love it. Do you have anything in particular that you really liked learning about? Everything. <laughs> and there you have it. That says it all. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>